Ah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, the first video of 2020. Yeah, we're doing something new. I mean, not because it's the new year, because when we plan on talking about basketball, eventually, we have posted like maybe one or two other 2K videos on this channel. That's because I haven't had to, I haven't played a game that much since like the last time I was really playing this game was October before Call of Duty came out. But with that out the way, we're talking about yeah, the Los Angeles more, more, more Lakers, more aka Showtime, aka the LA Headbusters, aka the SWAT team. Last two games that they've been having a really good game when it comes, you know, the rim protection based off that abysmal performance against the Pelicans giving around like what sixty eight points to the paint. And they responded with 20 blocks against the Detroit Pistons and then, you know, 12 blocks against the New York Knicks, both resulting in Ws. But the biggest storyline from that New York Knicks game, you know, not the 12 blocks, not LeBron having, you know, 31 points, 12 from the three-point line. It was the injuries, from, you know, from Anthony Davis and Contavious Caldwell Pope. Anthony Davis suffered, you know, a sacral contusion, you know, so on so so says, well, I'm not a doctor, say that in English. Well, he basically busted his ass, bruised his tailbone, and he won't be missing the next couple of games. He's missing, he's missing this, you know, this short road trip. But, yeah, I mean, nothing serious, and the, the fall looked a lot worse than it actually was. It's like, you know, getting the wind knocked out if you ever played football. Like, you know, like it, it hurts a lot, and it's really bad. And it looks really bad, but you know, you'll be on, you'll be all right. Like, typically, when it comes out in the know. next couple of weeks and all that. For football, it'll be like, you know, the next, you know, couple of minutes. But yeah, he busted his ass. He hurt his tailbone. And yeah, he won't be playing on the, on the road trip. He'll be rehabbing, you know, his sacral. Well, what was gonna part of his lower spine and tailbone. The entire time. Glad he's all right. Glad he won't be missing major time. And of course, KCP, he took a really bad headshot, a dirty headshot from. Knicks power forward, Bobby Portis. I don't know if he's a power forward, but the Knicks have like 10 of them, so like, I, I'll just assume he is. Yeah, he took a bad shot from on a layup. Uh, oh Bobby gosh. Portis literally knocked his headband, you know, right off his head. And it got him a flavor too, got him ejected. He has apologized from, you know, the hit from K on KCP. But yeah, he passed, you know, concussion protocol and all that. So he'll be good to play the next couple of games. He's cleared. If it was me, I would have him on a slight minutes restriction, but and he's a tough guy. He'll be alright. You know, he's had you know minor nicks and bruises here and there on the season. So another thing we can talk about really when it comes to our players on the Lakers, you know, handling adversity. You know, they had some bad stretches of games when they haven't played really well, especially when it comes to KCP. When the season first started, like, cause my God, he was playing awful when the season first started. He would have a game where he would have like 26 minutes, four fouls committed, two turnovers. And he goes two for eight from the field. Not a good look. Not a good look. And he was getting torched and slandered online. But, you know, he was able to bounce back. And he's been playing really good as of lately. Like, just based off, you know, his recent stretches of games. He's now in the top ten of, you know, three-point field goal percentage. And he's been playing really good. Playing really good on perimeter. Playing good perimeter defense. You know, hit, knock down the three balls. So, I like it. I like it. And then Danny Green, you know, he's been notorious for being icy hot. Hence, well, hence his nickname, I see hot. Yeah, he's had a good stretch of games after having some bad games. Especially, you know, he had a really bad game on Christmas. But he's bounced back. He had, you know, some really good games from three. You know, games when he, you know, just dropped five threes in the first quarter. You know? Nothing big, nothing big. But yeah. And the only players I, you know, the players that are currently playing bad would be, you know, Rajon Rondo and Kyle Kuzma. They've had, you know, some bad stretches of games. Rondo hasn't been able to run the offense pretty well. And, you know, they get really stagnant and they lose leads when he's in the game. Like, he will play 10 minutes and be negative 9 in those 10 minutes. And then Kuzma, he had a bad stretch of games. He's averaging, like, around 9 points, shooting 27% from the field and 26 from 3, which isn't good. Like, he, he, like when it comes to the trade from, you know, oh, us getting Anthony Davis, he's the only thing that's looking kind of bad compared to Brandon Ingram. And don't talk about Lonzo, you know, having his, you know, 26 points per game in his last four games because uh, he's had some he's, he's had some shitters too like we're not gonna act like he didn't get benched this you know on his team and Josh Hines been a non-factor at all but Ingram has been hooping so that's the only drawback on that trade but if Kyle Kuzma he can just get more in his more in a more refined and defined role you know he comes off the bench gives us around what 12 points a game maybe 15 he shoots what 
forty percent from the field, maybe thirty six from three. I'll be good with that. I'll be I'll be I'll be great with that. That'll be exceptional. Especially if you get it up to fifteen. But yeah. I don't think we should trade anyone. No, I don't think we should trade for Derek Rose or Bogdanovich from the Sacramento Kings. I mean Bogdanovich is good. He he'll definitely be a great addition to the team. But uh when it comes to Kuzma's contract, that's just a lot more team friendly compared to what Bogdanovich would want from the Kings. And when it comes to Derrick Rose, I mean, yeah, he's he is what we need. We do need a backup point guard, but you know, he's still old and you know, he still has durability issues, so I'm not too keen on that. And we got, we would have to trade someone for him, of course, so we'll just I'll just hope we stick this, you know, getting Darren Collison from the buyout in March. He he's interested in the Clippers and the Lakers, so hopefully he picks the you know the Lakers. You would have, oh well, you definitely get more minutes on the Lakers. So it depends on what team he wants. But yeah, I feel like the Lakers are in a good shape. We just need you know, everyone to be healthy. I'll probably do another checkup on this team, you know, around the All Star break or maybe at the end of this, this road trip because there's been nothing to talk about really with Call of Duty. So, and when it comes to this game plan 2K, you know, we was busting these kids' heads, and I mean, we was busting their heads open. We had 13 points, you know, 5 for 6 from the field, 3 for 3 from the 3 point line. Yeah, we shot the ball really good. And of course, the, the jumper was mm, wet, green, verde, whatever. Yeah, don't ask for my jumper. One, um, I, I would tell you, but I mean, the best jumper for you is the jumper you're most comfortable with. I'm using this jumper since like 2K13, and I skipped 2Ks in between that stretch, you know, 2K13 to 2K20. I skip like two or three of 2K games. So yeah, just use a jump you're most comfortable with. You know, muscle yeah, memory and all bro. that. Get shit off YouTube. Because that gets it, you know, nerfed. And you wonder why your jumper is broke. Or one, because you can't shoot. You're using a YouTuber's jumper. But with that out the way, y'all stay safe. I'm out. You know, we'll, we, we'll be back busting heads on 2K20 soon. You know, we got back in our groove. But yeah, y'all stay safe. I'm out.